the Seventh-day Adventist preacher you're about to see proclaim Allah, the God of the Muslims, to be the same God of the Christian, is named John Carter. On his SDA ministry website, they have a small description of who he is. On his About John Carter page, it says this. John Carter is a world-renowned speaker and director for the Carter Report, which started in 1992. He has specialized in biblical archaeology for over 49 years, and his lectures have attracted millions of people around the world in places such as Australia, the Philippines, Jamaica, Zimbabwe, USA, Russia, Ukraine, and India. His lectures have been very popular around the world. For example, 100,000 people had to be turned away from the opening of his lectures in Kiev, or the Ukraine. Now I read that to assure you he is not only well known to SDA people all around the world, he is also well known to the general conference leaders of the SDA church itself. It would be literally impossible for him not to be known by them seeing how he has been preaching for them at least 49 years. That being the case, not once have we ever heard the general conference leaders of the SDA church rebuke this man and his unbiblical theology. On his website, John Carter has a series of videos that anyone can watch. In the fifth video on his site, he says the following statement that not only goes directly against the scriptures and the spirit of prophecy, it goes directly against the statement of faith of millions of Seventh-day Adventists all around the world. That being said, let's take a look at the video. First, may Alar, God, the undisputed and incontestable Lord of the heavens and the earth, and all that is found between and beyond it, bless you and your family with the best of this world and the hereafter for your advocacy of reconciliation among mankind and their respective religions. That's, that's nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful prayer. Thank you. Now, you know, Allah is the same God that the Christian worships, I believe. In the Bible that is used by people who speak in those uh, Middle Eastern countries, the word for God is Alar. And so obviously the person who is sending me this letter is a person who follows Islam. Okay, secondly... I... If you're a Seventh-day Adventist, I implore you to visit sdaapostasy.org as soon as possible. You need to be made aware that this is not the only unbiblical statement or doctrine that is being taught by your church. I would also ask that you visit both the new video section of the website as well as the evidences in pictures page at your earliest convenience. Thank you for watching. God bless.